Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speech, and with our first ever Mac PowerPoint 2011 tutorial. <laughs> Quickly turn an Excel data like this into PowerPoint shapes that you can build out a visual graphic like this in PowerPoint. And instead of doing what most people do, manually inserting a bunch of shapes in PowerPoint and then retyping their text, which can take forever, we're going to leverage and break smart art graphics to do the heavy lifting for us. And there's a secret check you're doing this, and I'll show you in just a second. But if you're on a PC or a Mac PowerPoint 2016, check out our other video here. To grab a cheat sheet of these steps plus all the shortcuts, click the link below in the description box. And here in Excel, you can see that I have my Project Monkey timeline information that I want to turn into a visual graphic in PowerPoint. And the first thing to be aware of is that it makes a difference whether something's going to be stacked vertically in your layout and whether something's going to be stacked horizontally. So my milestones, in this case, I'm going to want to go horizontally across the top of my graphic, which is there's a little secret to doing that. But let's first start with the vertical stuff. So here in Excel, you're going to come in Command C to copy in PowerPoint 2011. I'm going to Command Tab to move over to PowerPoint. Now, normally in later versions of PowerPoint, you can Command V to paste in your information. You can flip this into shapes, but we can't do that in 2011. Instead, we need to first navigate up to the Smart Art tab in our ribbon. And for a vertical list, you want to come to the List option. You want to insert this vertical bullet list. This is a graphic that works 100% of the time for this. Once you have your smart art graphic down, if you don't have the window open, just open the window. Command V to paste your information in. Notice it gets thrown into the smart art graphic. Don't worry, we're not going to stop here. I'm going to delete out the dud text and I'm going to close the window. So now that you're in smart art, again, don't worry, we're not going to stop here. You can resize and position this in the smart art graphic. We'll resize your text and shapes. Once you have something you like, you want to navigate to the smart art tab. On the far right, you have a convert to, convert to shapes. We'll break the smart art graphic. This is now shapes, lines, and text boxes, which mean that we can shift option command G to ungroup it, which will then give us the option to do absolutely anything we want with this layout. I'm going to command Z to put it back into position. But before we continue, appreciate for a second just how much faster that is than retyping your Excel text into PowerPoint, which is what most people are doing, right? Not a great use of your time. So that's how to create a vertical list. Again, you want to come up to the list option. You first need to insert the vertical bullet list graphic, and then paste your information in. But if you want a horizontal graphic, so one going across the top, I'm going to Command Tab back to Excel. I'm going to copy my milestones, Command C to copy, Command Tab back. This time for a horizontal uh, graphic, I want to come up to the hierarchy. And I just want to select the first hierarchy option. Again, I'm going to get a smart art graphic. I haven't formatted this yet. Open up the tab, Command V to paste in. You're going to see that all my information, I'm going to delete out this dud text, is arranged in a horizontal formation. So I didn't have to retype any of my text. I'm just copying and pasting into a smart art graphic. I can resize this again to get a head start on what I might want the size of my graphic to be. Once you have the general option, come up to Convert to, Convert to Shapes. Shift, Option, Command, G will ungroup it down to text boxes or rectangles that you can move around any way you want. And repeating the process, this is what your slide will look like with all of your Excel information as default PowerPoint shapes. And then with a little bit of speed training, you could crank out something like this in PowerPoint. So that's how to use and break smart art graphics in PowerPoint 2011 on a Mac to quickly turn your Excel data into PowerPoint shapes without retyping any of your text. And this goes right to the heart of one of the most important rules of PowerPoint speed training. And that is never do anything in PowerPoint that PowerPoint can automatically do for you. It's just never a good use of your time. To download a cheat sheet of the steps covered here, plus all the shortcuts, click the link below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.